Ever since I finished swapping the 5.3 into my 95 Chevy, uh, I've been working on sorting out the little things that uh, would make it work better. Uh, one of the things that I hadn't thought of up until this point is the air conditioner. When you turn on your air conditioner, an electric fan is supposed to come on. Uh, in the 2002 Tahoe that the uh, engine came out of, that automatically occurred and it, the PCM told the fan to come on. In the 95 truck, the computer didn't do that, it was the actual switch itself which is in the wiring harness of the truck. So the way it stands right now, my air conditioning works fine, but when I turn on the compressor it does not have an electric fan come on and it really needs that. Uh, I found that the high side pressure wise of the AC system gets a little high, a little too high I should say, after about 10 minutes of running the engine with uh, no fans coming on. You know, if the temperature is not hot enough to make the electric fan come on, and if it's a cold engine, but there's no air circulation, uh, that seems to create a problem with the air conditioner. And I believe that may be what has damaged my old compressor. Uh, replace the compressor, everything's together now. Um, we're going to wire in a relay that will activate the fan when the AC is turned on. So I'm going to show you how I did that. At the end of the video, and also if you look down below, uh, in the comments area below the uh, video, I'll have a list of all the components I used, how much they cost, where I got them, and all that, so it's readily available. Okay, let me show you the parts. I'll give you some more detail in just a bit, but this is the relay I'm using. Everything I bought was from All Electronics. And this is the socket for that relay. Here's a weatherproof fuse that will be in line on the power side. Some 30 amp fuses, spade connectors, and a little protective looming. Okay, under the hood I was trying to decide where I wanted to put the relay in. And at first I thought it might be over here. Uh, by the battery, somewhere between the fan and all, I decided, no, let's not do that. I'm going to put it, try to keep all the electronics kind of together. So over here on the driver's side, I've got the uh, PCM mounted down here. Uh, these are the fan relays. So I decided I'm going to mount the uh, AC fan relay in this area right here. And because all my wiring is very close, I can get to it. Uh, there are really four wires to hook up the power, the ground, the fan, and the wire to the AC clutch that will activate it when it's turned on. Four actual wires. And since my relay box, my fuses are up here, this is where I'm going to connect my power. I'll bring it over here and I've got my fan. Kind of hard to see in there. I think I'm going to go with the green wire. Okay, this is a diagram that shows what the relay looks like where the spades are and the way the corresponding wires would be with the socket that attaches to it. So you can see at the top is the yellow wire that will be attached to the battery. To the right is the black ground wire. Below number 30 is the blue wire which will be going to the fan. And on the left hand side number 86 is to the AC clutch, that's the white wire. In the very center that 87A is a red wire on my uh, socket and we're going to cut that and not use it. Okay, hooking, getting the power wire correct was not a problem and the uh, ground wire was simply a matter of putting a spade on it. Okay, now the last two wires, one will be for my fan and I'm going here. I've got two fan wires, one's blue and one's green. I'm actually going to go for the green one because I have two fans and they're set up to go off at 185 degrees and 195 degrees. So I'm going to tap into the green one. This goes to the fan that is set off at 195. 
I'd rather have it go off for the AC than when it reaches 185 degrees, the second fan kicks on. So I'm going to put all three of these wires together. Okay, with it installed, here's where the relay is. Uh, you can see there's the hood bumper here. So it's right here next to the computer, the PCM. These are the relays for the f uh, fan. And here is the relay right there. Here's the relay for the fans. Now the four wires, the uh, black wire, of course, is the ground. And it comes across, and it's this wire right here. It goes up into here. The power wire, uh, it's, it's tucked in there. I put it inside the loom. It runs over to here. It runs over here. Let me take this cover off. And you can see there's the, uh, the fusible link right there. And I attached it right there on the top there are those two bolts those two studs the auxiliary one that's where I attach that so there's your power and you saw where the ground was uh, back over here this green wire coming out of the uh, right here coming out of the fan relay uh, I tied in the blue wire to that so that should be my fan and then for my signal to come off of the uh, AC compressor, uh, I ran a wire, it's a blue wire, and you can see well, I tucked it in here into the loom, I ran it all behind in a wiring loom, and it is over here, see on the compressor, you have the power switch here at the clutch, and then you've got the pressure switch here, uh, they both have a green wire, those green wires come together back in here to form one wire. So I found the green wire here and here's the blue. And it runs down into here and I spliced it into those two green wires. So that is power from the compressor. Okay, with everything hooked up now, let's try it out and see what happens. This will be its uh, first official attempt to start and see if we actually have power to the fan. Clicked on, check the fan. And the fan is running. Success. Okay, guys, I hope you learned something from the video. I hope it showed you something you didn't already know. If your AC is not turning that fan on, it really needs to. Uh, the new cars all have it. The older cars should too. Your swap won't be complete without it. Just make your swap correct. You know, it's all the little details that really make a difference. So hook up your relay. Parts aren't expensive. Make it work correctly. Follow us as well. Thanks a lot. Good luck.